Senator John Kennedy, Republican Louisiana now. Mr. Senator, welcome to the program. What do you make of this caravan? It's on the way. It might arrive at the border right around Election Day. What should we do? Well, I think we need to enforce the border laws. Now, the, the left-wing cranks are going to say, oh, the American people are, are just being uh, mean. No, we're not. The American people are incredibly compassionate when it comes to immigration. We welcome a million of our, our world's neighbors every year, more than any other country. But, but you have to follow the law. These, those million people come, get in line, follow the rules, wait patiently, and they're admitted. We have another 500,000 folks out there that try to jump the line. And uh, the president is enforcing our border laws, just as he should and just like he said he would do. And the problem that we have with immigration in America is not that we let in too few or too many people. It's that there's been a 15-year bipartisan refusal on Capitol Hill to refuse to enforce America's immigration laws. If you don't like the law, change it. In the meantime, we ought to follow it. Got it. Mr. Senator, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, he's in Turkey. He's met with President yep. Erdogan there about the Khashoggi disappearance. President Trump says we've got to get all the facts before we jump to conclusions. I just want to roll tape on that, Mr. Senator. Hold on for a second. Roll it. And it depends whether or not the king or the crown prince knew about it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Number one, what happened, but whether or not they knew about it. If they knew about it, that would be bad. If they didn't know about it, things, bad things can happen. You look at what they're doing in Iran. Don't forget, Saudi Arabia is our partner. Uh, Senator, are we soft-peddling the Saudi situation? We shouldn't if we are. Look, Americans' foreign policy story has got to be anchored in values. Having said that, one of the toughest jobs for a president is how to deal with an authoritarian government that doesn't share our values, but whose interests are important to us. Now, here's what I, here's what I see. I think uh, Mr. Khashoggi is dead. Um, I don't think the aliens abducted him. I don't think he fell through a hole in the space-time continuum. I think he's dead, and I think the Saudis killed him. Uh, I don't think it matters whether King Solomon or, or Prince Mohammed knew about it. They're captains of the ship. What do we do about it? I think that we have to condemn the conduct in the strongest possible terms. I think the president and Congress should do it together. But I don't think, like some of my colleagues, that we need to blow up the Middle East doing it. And I don't think that means that we ought to cut Saudi Arabia off, have no contact with them, cut them off like a dead stump. Look, look there are no democracies in the Middle East with the exception of Israel. And, and I trust, with the exception of Israel, uh, every country in the Middle East about as much as I trust gas station sushi. Uh, but we have to deal with them. They're, they're three centers of power, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Iran. Uh, Iran's a cancer on the Middle East. We can't have a relationship with them. We've got to maintain a relationship with the Saudis and with Turkey. Otherwise, the, the whole place is going to burn and we're yes, going to get pulled into it. Now, that's yes, just sir. reality. Senator Kennedy, thanks for joining us, sir, on a busy day. Always appreciate it. Thanks, Thank you, sir. Senator.